setting up a simple 3GS app. 3GS comes in three flavours, plain JavaScript, module JavaScript and TypeScript. We'll be using the modules version throughout the course. If you're looking at the folder where you downloaded or cloned the resources, you'll see that there's a start folder and a complete folder. To work along with the course you need to use the version in the start folder. If you're having trouble, then go ahead and look at the complete folder. The problem's almost certainly a typo. You can't view your work just by clicking on an HTML file. That will not work for 99% of the examples in the course. The examples in this course assume you're using the live server extension in VS Code. It's very much worth installing. OK, let's open the file index.html in the folder Start. Lecture 3. This is already set up for you and each example in this section is going to use pretty much the same approach. The index page will define a script tag that is set to type module. It will import the app class from the file app.js in the same folder as the index.html file. And in the DOM content loaded event, a new instance of this app class will be initialized. The DOM content loaded event occurs when the content's loaded. The window object will have a property called app set to this instance to facilitate debugging as will inevitably be necessary. Now let's look at the app.js file. This is an essentially empty class file. In this template I've imported the entire 3GS library which is stored in the file libs 3140 build 3.modules.js. This is the same file you'd find in the 3GS repo in the build folder. We use an import map to convert the string 3 into this path. I also import orbit controls from libs 3140 examples JSM controls orbit controls.js. When you use modules, the import from path must be an absolute or relative path from the file to the import module. So, in app.js you need to go up two folders to reach the root of the resources. Look in the libs 3140 build folder to find the file 3.module.js. A JavaScript class file is defined with a name and then code inside curly braces. The constructor method is called whenever a new instance of this class is created and the constructor method may take any number of parameters or none. Here we have none. The template is set up to create a div element and append it to the body of the document. It is also set up to call the resize method of this class whenever there is a window resize event. Scope is very important when using the keyword this. Inside the constructor method for the app class, this refers to an instance of the app. To call methods of the class we use this, then the method name. If we do not add bind this to the method call for an event, then inside the function this would have a different scope. It would refer not to the app instance, instead it would be the instance that had the event listener added. In this case the window. By adding bind this, it ensures that this, inside the class method, is the app as expected. This is just a reminder, because if you're a real beginner, scope is very confusing. Now we're poised to enter our first code to display some 3GS content. Let's take a break and come back in the next video, ready to start typing and testing. See you in a jiffy!